Hi, it's Stan with Woolaway. Um, today, kind of some of our seasonal things uh, that we've done. This Columbine, Appalachia. Um, you can see we're starting to get flowers. Some of the things that you don't know that we do with this is we started it last fall. Um, grow it up to this plant. It's a spring sales plant primarily. Uh, loves the cooler weather here now, so great early season color. Um, we do PGR these. Uh, that's a plant growth regulator so that we keep them nice and compact and dense like this. Um, great look. They kind of, if you look at some of the ones around me, they have water droplets on them. They kind of hold on to the leaf. Uh, but we have really nice root systems here. You can see these things are going to jump when they go in the ground. So really good full root system. Um, you want to break that up a little bit when you do plant it. Um, some of the other, we have lots of varieties as you can see down there. Lots of colors starting to come. So these are just kind of hitting the prime right now. You can see we've sold through some of it, but uh, we've got more to go. So, so kind of in line with the Columbine, to continue on, uh, we're looking at dark purple bloomerangs. Um, these are starting to see all the buds on it. We're going to have a real nice color display here shortly. Um, and then they repeat bloom throughout the season. Not as heavy as the spring flush, but you will get repetitive blooming all through the season. These are one gallons, um, really nice size as you can see. Full plant again, I don't even know if I can get it out of the pot. It's so, got lots of roots, um, really nice shape. So really full and compact. We've got, you can see we've got the house here. These are just starting to kind of come on and go out. So um, I think we have quite a bit on inventory available still, uh, but that'll go fast here as we everybody starts breaking loose. As this week goes, it's gonna get warmer and uh, we're gonna see more sunshine and I think things are gonna really start moving for um, weather-wise. We kind of held last week in degree days. Um, we're going to be creeping up pretty fast this week as it goes on. Hi, uh, we've come over to one of our hydrangea houses. This is a minimal heat house. Um, they're not natural necessarily season like outdoors to be in the ground. You can see we're a little farther ahead here. These are uh, Let's Dance um, proven winter selection. Um, so what you're kind of seeing is we're seeing green, the buds are open, leaves are coming. What we want to make sure though is they are sensitive to cold. So if you're hitting mid thirties or below, you're going to want to get these under protection. Um, I, I would, that would be as cold as I would let them get. Even up in the 36, 37, I would, I would consider you may want to watch, you could take cold damage. Cold damage in these will show up as like a black ring on the edge of the leaf. Um, you'll sometimes see where the uh, bud kind of gets scorched out um, and turns black. Uh, it's generally a darker color than you'd see of more of them from water stress. So um, some of the other things, uh, we did go through, we, because of our temperatures, we've seen a little bit of slug activity. So we use a blue pellet that's a slug bait that's on these. So if you see that in there, but they also are fertilized. Um, so everything's in really good shape. They're ready to go hit the ground running. Uh, really nice plants. Um, if you look hard enough down in, you can start to see occasionally a, bu a flower bud starting to show. Um, we have other plants that we have forced along um, that are a little farther ahead. Um, they're more for that Mother's Day crop as well. So those are going to be farther along than a lot of these. And in hydrangea macrophylla, you'll see differences between varieties. So some varieties like um, Endless Summer is a real fast, aggressive hydrangea macrophylla. That one will get woke up early and go. Um, this Let's Dance is a little bit early. Eclipses tends to be a little bit on the earlier side of going. And then you have some stuff um, on the farther end, some of the dwarfs, like Pop Stars a little bit later. Um, and, and there's a few others that kind of fall in between that. Summer Crush is kind of a mid-range one that we carry. So they will wake up a little bit different. Hey. Uh, walked over to another one of our houses here. We got purple effects, um, Wajelia. Um, just starting to wake up. Got, I love the different colors in the variegation. You got the pink uh, showing up on the edge and reverts to that white edge. Um, so you got kind of year round interest with that once it starts going. Um, these are sheared real nice, dense plants. It's a two gallon. Uh, we'll get flowers here as we go in the season. This is kind of a mid-spring bloomer and then repeats blooms throughout the season so um, but we got a good amount of them here ready to go 
Um, they're in a kind of a seasonal state. We minimal heat this house as well. Um, so they're a little bit ahead of what the outside ones are, but not that much farther ahead. A little bit of protection again, if you get down into that mid thirties, you probably want to put a little bit of cover on these or get them someplace, but um, certainly something that you could put out in the yard and handle most of the weather that we get this time of year in spring. Uh, real nice again, you know, I always show the roots, but you know, we've got good rooting in that. Um, it's woke up a little bit and just starting to get going. So get them while we've got them.